this has got to be hands down the most intense game of dodgeball I have ever seen. And uh, man, this one is just, it's insane. Just insane. Hmm, Hunter Hunter, episode 70, Guts and Courage. Hmm. Oh, oh, damn. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters and uh, any one of uh, Razor's 14 Devils of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you another review on the awesome and dodgeball-centrically heavy tale of Hunter x Hunter. Now, of course, the last episode uh, kind of embroiled and brought us into this crazy-ass game of Nen Dodgeball, I guess is the only way of putting it. And uh, and we were kind of left after Gone wound up going and trying to focus his co, you know, into into one area on his hands and his face uh, to take the, uh, to receive the hit from Razor. Now, he wound up flying through against into the wall, you know, face busted open, ball stuck up in the ceiling, but he got up and was like, I'm fine, and he was just pissed off. He was pissed that he didn't focus enough into his legs, and that his legs actually buckled, he was actually blown out of his shoes. So, that's where the episode left off, and that's right where things pick up, and first of all, they wind up going and saying, because the uh, ceiling is an extension of the floor, or considered part of the floor, and uh, the ball wound up hitting the ceiling, and then of course is stuck in the ceiling, they don't know when or where it's going to come down. Basically, the bottom line is, is Gone is out, right? So Gone's like, well, I'm just going to use back. And Bisky's like, listen, chill out, little buddy here. Just calm down. We appreciate all your, your hype over there and everything like that, but just calm down a little bit. Just get your little hormones in check. And she says, if you're going to do that, wait until there's only two players left, right? And we know that we still have uh, Killua and Hisoka and Bisky that are in there, right? So anyway, so Gone is pissed off, and he kind of stomps off over there, and he's, he's again, he's you know notably upset or what have you. Um, but then they wind up going, and, uh, and of course, they... They have the ball back, uh, Razor's team, and Razor goes and lines up and fires another one, and this time he fires it right at Killua, right? And Killua's got that, like, split second, which actually in anime time is, like, 30 seconds, but that split second to think, and should I try to catch it, should I try to dodge it, what can I do, right? He realizes that he doesn't have the strength to catch it, and he doesn't want to get decapitated or killed, so he winds up making just a snap, you know, judgment move, and he moves to the right. The ball goes and actually goes and whizzes past where he was and then just completely takes a turn and goes past Bisky, who artfully dodges it, and then goes to nail Hisoka, right? And he dodges it. One of the outside guys for Razor, one of his devils, grabs the ball and then goes to get a spike it at Hisoka. And Hisoka does this awesome ass, like, just perverted backbend, right? <laughs> where he's, like, backwards and he's, like, catching, he winds up, you know, using his bungee gum and actually catches the ball. And he winds up breaking a couple of his fingers, it looks like, in the process or dislocating them. But anyway, he winds up still actually being able to, you know, physically, like, take the throw. So, you know, <laughs> so thank God that one worked out for him, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, prior to that happening, or maybe it was either just before or just after. I think it was just before. Yeah, because one of the apes was still in there from, uh, from what's his face? Um, um, God, I can't remember his name now for the life of me. Guy, Gordon, Gordon, Gorum, Gorumay? Yeah, Gorumay. He winds up going, he's pissed off, even though he's still on the outside, and he wind, he wind up going and trying to take and charge up a, a shot, and then goes and actually, like, tosses it to his, uh, one of his ape guys, and then switches out with them, and he winds up actually landing a solid hit on Razor, I mean, it hits him right in the face, it knocks him down, uh, but then what winds up happening is one of Razor's guys actually winds up catching the damn ball, so... Uh, because it's caught, then of course he's out, and uh, and and he winds up going and taking a, a, a deflected shot. Uh, it looks like uh, I don't know if it was a deflected shot. I forget exactly. There's so much action going on, but he winds up taking a, a solid hit over there, and uh, and then he winds up getting knocked unconscious. So now him and his Nen ape or whatever that was still left in there is is no longer in there. So and they're like, hey, listen, if he becomes conscious before the match is over, he can of course you know make his ape reappear. If he doesn't, tough titty man, no big deal. Uh, that's just how it works out. So that's what we wind up getting left down to, and that's how we get to the whole thing between G Killua, Bisky, and uh, and uh, and Hisoka, right? But anyway, we wind up finding out that uh, after that throw that looked like everybody dodged and Hisoka caught, apparently it did not. It brushed the the skirt that Bisky has, or a little like floofy type of you know girl dress or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they call that, but it just kind of comes out like an umbrella, uh, and it wind up actually hitting it, and the clothes are an extension of the body, so technically she's out. So she goes and, and gets out or whatever, and uh, Hisoka goes, and now there's only, of course, two left, so Gon goes and, and uses the back thing where he can, you, know, you can have one player go back in. So Gon goes back in, right? 
And, uh, and, and of course, you know, Hisoka goes and explains to him that the ball has a lot less power when it's outside of, you know, the, the, the court, the arena and everything else. And basically is trying to give them like a, an advantage to win, right? And Gon's like, you know what? Bullshit. We're not going to do that. No, we're not going to take any cheap ways to victory over here. We're going to go and we're just going to annihilate him, right? <laughs> so he's like, Killua, hold the ball for me. <laughs> so Killua gets right up on the half court line, you know, and he holds the ball like this. He's holding over there. And Gon just starts just pulling his aura out, right? And he just goes, rock, you know, and then paper, rock. And I mean, he just fires this freaking punch, man. And I mean, it's all the whole aura exploding and just, oh, it's so beautiful. He winds up doing this and just, this ball goes and travels. And it looks like it's going right at Razor, but it winds up making a turn. You know, I guess he hit it that way or used his ability to turn it that way. And this thing's like on fire. It's like a goddamn meteor, okay, coming down like from Armageddon. This is not a ball anymore. And this thing goes and just nails the, the big guy that wound up being the combination, the combining of the two smaller devils that wound up catching the one ball uh, in the last episode. This dude catches it, right, but goes flying back out of the ring and then <laughs> tumbles and everything. And even though he caught it, doesn't matter. You can't touch the ball outside of the actual uh, the actual playing field, the arena, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so he's out, right? And we're thinking, oh, man, this is great. And then, of course, they retain the ball, you know. So Killer was like, all right, Gohan, you got to man up. we got to do another one of these, right? And Gohan's like, I need that much more power, right? And, I mean, this all builds just so beautifully, especially with the animation and everything, you know? And he's just... And, I mean, his aura spikes, and everybody is just like, wow, you know what I mean? And Razor doesn't want to admit that he's impressed, but Razor's impressed, and he's probably shitting his pants just a little bit, man. He's got a little shit streak going down his drawers, but he's not going to admit it. You know, he's just like, yeah, sure, bring it, come on, ha, ha, ha. Kind of laughs it off. Gohan goes and charges up for another rock... And then he's, paper, rock. And I mean, he just, you know, hits this thing. And as it's coming at, uh, as it's coming at Razor, you know, Razor goes and just, he kind of just hulks up and goes and uses his Nen aura power, whatever this like purple aura that comes out of him. He's just, and he catches the freaking thing, right? He catches it and actually uses his body to go and kind of block it and the thing, and slow down the momentum of it. And the thing goes flying up in the air, but slowly. It doesn't hit the ceiling, so therefore he wouldn't be out anyway, right? So, as this thing's going up in the air, and of course he's, and everything's happening, everybody's looking like, oh my god, what happened, right? And then I love it because the ball's in the air floating, and it's going to come right back down to him, right? And then all of a sudden, whoop, yoink, <laughs> fucking bungee gum from my boy Hisoka. And I tell you, man, I, you know, I don't agree with the weird pedophile stuff and everything like that, right? You know, just, just to get that out there, obviously. But other than that, this dude is a cool character, man. He is a cool cat, and I like having him around, you know. He's just so cool. So, anyway, so he uses bungee gum, pulls that shit back in, and then he's like, oh, uh-huh, sorry, you're out. <laughs> so the ref calls Razor's ass out. He, of course, uses uh, back to come back in right away, but now he's used up his his, his thing. And so then some of Segura's guys are on the side there. Um, and they're like, oh, wow, great, we got the advantage now, three against two. And Segura's like, are you nuts? Like, Hisoka probably can't even make a, a, a legitimate throw with his right hand now because of the dislocated fingers that he had to pop back into place. Gone is probably tired and weak by now because he's went and he's fired up two of these already. And Kill and then they're like, oh yeah, but Kill so Killua is the only one that's at 100% health. And he's like, Killua? Killua is taking the most damage. And that's when you actually see this series of events that made me feel bad for him. But at the same time... What wound up happening is that, you know, because there was so much aura and force coming from Gon when he punches the ball, Killua didn't use any Nen to protect his hands because if he did, it would it would lessen the blow and the punch that actually came. And then, of course, there wouldn't be as much force and power behind it. And Killua, like Gon, wants to win. Doesn't matter if his hands get tore up, right? Anyway, Segura goes and calls a timeout and brings him over there and says, Listen, I know how to use a lightning fast, get the last second little coating of Nen to put over my hands. I can hold the ball for you out here, outside the court, and you can just nail him you know, from inside because you can, you can attack from outside as well. Gohan's like, Fuck no, man, we ain't taking no cheap weight. And he's like, No, you don't understand. Killa was gotten all beat up and everything else, right? And nobody knows because Killa just keeps his hands in his shorts pockets all the time, right? Bisky comes over after they ask him to turn his hands out of his pockets a couple of times, and she pulls his hand out. And dude's hand is all black and blue and just beaten. I mean, it looks like, it just looks like the, the hand of a monster, right? Not like a 12 or 13 year old kid. And I'm thinking, man, Killua took a, a licking with this, you know? And the thing is, is Killua the whole time was like, I can take one more. It's cool, you know? So we wind up getting this really cool, I thought it was a great scene. It was basically about friendship and, and the bond that you can have uh, with a, a good friend, with that close friend, with that person that can help complete your other thoughts and, and your, your thoughts and your sentences, things like that. And they kind of have that bond. They're going to do this and they're going to do it together, right? And Gon's like, I knew the whole time that Killua was basically, you know, taking a beating or whatever on his hands here. 
But he knows that Killua will go, has, number one, has enough respect for their friendship that he's going to go through with it until he can't, you know, until he can't anymore. And and he also knows that if there's a problem, Killua's going to tell him about it, you know. So Killua's hands are pretty fucked up, but he's like, don't worry about us, Pops, we got it, you know. <laughs> I just thought that was great, man. And then I thought it was cool, too, because then towards the end, they go and they have this little talk amongst themselves. Uh, they're going to have this little talk amongst themselves about what they're going to do, and Hisoka's in there. The ball gets passed back to uh, to Bisky, who, of course, is out, but she's one of the outside players now. And she's like, I'm not very good at throwing, but she's like, <sighs> whips this one, and it turns right and hits the foot perfectly of the last uh, Nen Beast Devil, or whatever that's in there. Gets knocked out, but right before he gets knocked out, it kicks, he kicks the ball up into the air, and Razor's actually able to catch it, so obviously possession changes, and now Razor's got the ball. So now Razor's the only one left in, and he's against Gon, Hisoka, and Killua, but they're all pretty damaged, and then the three of them have this little little meeting over here, and Gon's got some crazy-ass idea, and Hisoka's just like, <laughs> okay, you know, with his little pervy sort of laugh, and I just love it. I love the voice actor that does Hisoka. He just reminds you of this just cool, sort of dangerous, creepy character, you know? I mean, man, so awesome. But anyway, that's where the episode ends off with basically like balls deep into this just dodgeball match and hopefully, you know, hopefully, beyond hope, Gon has enough to just bring it one more time and actually able to take Razor out, you know? Um, and Razor did tell him, though, when he deflected the ball, he said, you can do more than than dodge or, or attack, you know? Um, but I don't expect you to listen to that, so I think that's going to come into play as well. My episode question for you, though, brothers and sisters, is what are your thoughts on Killua and basically just going and, you know, hey man, he just took the took the beating on his hands and of course was just quiet about it. What are your thoughts on him and the type of resolve that he must have to, he didn't even complain, he didn't blink, he did nothing, man. Let me know what your thoughts are on Killua and obviously his ability to just kind of just take a licking and keep on ticking in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching all of you in the next one, Nation. Mm, remember to subscribe to my other channels and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well.